Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the Modicon M221. In this video we're going to work on the previous application that we saw for the conveyor belt, but we are going to make some changes. So let's go to the presentation. As we saw in the other presentations that we have this conveyor belt, and the idea is to work with the how we can improve the code when we, for example, want to change one of the inputs of the application. For example, in the previous part, we saw that we were working with the conveyor belt and the sensor was um, normally open sensor. But what happened we, when the machine is already done and somebody replaced the sensor? Um, if we already made the code and if it's huge, the problem is that we need to change in every part of the code for normally open to normally close to continue using our logic. So the idea in this uh, video is to show you how we can improve the code to avoid that. How we can only change the normally close or normally open to the opposite in order to basically do not waste time during the programming. So this is the idea, okay? We are not going to make any changes in the digital inputs of our software. The only difference in the real life would be that the sensor will be normally closed instead of normally open, as we already made in the previous videos. What we need to do is to go to the programming part and then add a new PUU. This PUU will be in charge of moving the digital value of the inputs to a percentage m variables. So we can use that percentage m variables in our code directly. So this is the process what we need to do. And then we we have the possibility to to export our symbol list into a file and we can edit that file to add more variables. Probably in this um, in this small project doesn't apply, but if you have a huge project, instead of manually adding all the variables in the software, probably it's much better to use um, an Excel uh, file so you can edit and assign all the variables, the symbol and the position, the memory address, and then you just import that file into the software and it's going to be much easier. So what we're going to do now is to export the actual files or the actual variables that we have in the software into a file, modify that file and then import it again into our program. And this is the process. We just need to go to the symbol list it will open this view and the right part we have the export button we just select the path modify the name define the name and then just export once we have it we can open in an excel we need to make some adjustments okay to see the columns and then we need to add these three new variables that we want to use that is going to be percentage m so there is something important when you want to import again the variables depend on the excel file that you have you need to save it and probably if you are working with colon or semicolon it will affect in the in in the software because it will not recognize the the limitation that you have so it's important to previously open the file before import it into the machine expert basic so you can really see if what we want to do is correct so let's continue this one once we already modified the file we need to go again to the symbol list select import select the file that we have verify the separator 
and then import and then you will see in the symbol list the new variables just to double check we can go to the memory objects and validate that the new variables are added in our software so now it's time to do this so I'm going to open the previous application that we have I'm not going to make any more changes here so let's create a new POU should be for inputs right click rename PRG inputs okay now symbol list see these are the only ones that I have I'm going to export this going to export into this and to do what guidance original export options okay export going to open the file okay this one here so I'm going to copy and paste it and set new going to open us notepad see what do we have okay now I'm going to open this in Excel I'm going to move it over here so now we can separate this semicolon next there we go so what we need to do is to add three more variables these two but new I'm going to put it over here this one will be m10 if I know wrong I'm going to m start the comment m stop and m sensor aux aux stop machine and aux sensor and here I'm going to add only the letter M at the beginning letter M and the letter M good uh, let me just put it over here forget to save okay now I'm going to close it now let's check this again and it has saved it mm, wrong okay so this is not what I was after uh, mm -hmm. I have changed this uh, da, da, da. set format uh, da, 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 da. save it's gonna be the same yes so let me just start again new nope. gonna to open it Okay, Excel file format. Okay, let's see what do we have here. Text to column. Finish. We are this two. M. Um, um, this one M10 M out copy this okay save us 
to save as a CSV. Say, save new to. These are the things that happen for rushing. So let's wait here. And there we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to close this. Now, this is the new file that we need to, to use. Okay. How do we modify this? I'm going to delete it. New two. So, what we need to do now is import. Select the file that we want. Name two. It's not semicolon. Okay. It's a comma. Uh, let me just have a check again just to show you. Comma. So, import. You have some information over there. Okay. And you can see here the new variables that we have created. And if we go to the memory objects, you can see here the new variables that I have created. So let's go back to the presentation. What we need to do now is to, as I explained before, what I want to do is to, to move the input value Okay, the percentage I into percentage M. That's why in the new uh, PRU, PRG inputs, we are going to create these three ranks and then move the digital value into the uh, percentage M variable. So let's go back. And now the idea is to create this function block. So let's go to the program. Here in the input, let's just add this and this. Let's create two more of this. Okay. Here. Just remember we have two. We have three inputs. Okay. One for the stop one for the start and the other one for the sensor so let's start here i underscore start i underscore stop and i underscore sensor so this part as i already this is something important here it is always to think about the way of, of we think the best way to name the variable symbol so we can easily um, speed up the process of creating the code. In this case, I have all my variables start with for the inputs as a I underscore and the image in the percentage m of those variables start with m i underscore so we can easily um, improve the way that we work with the variables so let's continue so in this one it would be m i underscore start m i underscore sense uh, stop and in the last one will be m underscore sensor so in this way we have moved all the values the digital values into a uh, percentage m variables the next step would be to change in our logic in the control logic the i for the mi and there is something important here which is the order so the input should be called at the beginning okay because in the plc the cycle is input, execute the code, and then refresh the output. So input first, control, and then the output. So let's go back to the presentation. As I mentioned, now what we need to do is to change this on the on the logic that we have on PRG control to be like this. So let's go back to the code over here. 
and change. If we don't make these uh, auxiliary variables for the inputs, the thing is that we need to change this sensor over here from normally closed to normally open in order to make it work. And if you have if you have used this variable in different parts of the code, you need to manually change that. It's going to take time. That's why we have made this. Let's go back here. And now I can easily add the M. That's why it's important to know how to make the perfect symbol for the variables. M. And the last thing that we need to do is to check here the input. So if the sensor is normally open, OK, we just leave it at this. But if it's normally closed, we just change this to here. And that's it. There is nothing else to do instead of changing it in a different way or a different part of the program. And if we want to check this, we just, let me just save this. We can simulate logic. You'll see part is not the part. Run this. Okay, the sensor is activated. Motor logic. Okay. Now we can press, I don't remember the digital input. I4, 5. Here is selected. It's true. And everything is ready to go when we press start over here okay or over here and the output will be activated okay so this is just um, a way to add to add um, more logic into the code but allows you to make efficient the way to program or make an adjustment in the code as you saw in the presentation. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you in the next one.